Altai is the official name of the Turkish future main battle tank. It is named after the famous commander of the Turkish Cavalry Corps. It is Turkey's first indigenous MBT development program since 1943. In 2007 a contract was awarded to a local company Otokar for the design and production of four prototypes. First prototype was publicly revealed in 2011. These prototypes were used for testing. In 2016 it was officially reported that Turkey is ready for production of this new tank. The contract was planned to be signed in 2018 for a total of 251 Altai tanks in three main variants. Production was planned to begin in 2021. Though there were major difficulties related to engine and transmission of the new tank. Deliveries of first production Altai tanks are planned to begin in 2023. This new main battle tank is of conventional design. The Altai uses some technologies of the South Korean K-2 Black Panther, however it is a different design, rather than a license-produced version of the Black Panther. The Altai also has some design features of the Leopard 2, which is used by the Turkish Armed Forces. The Altai main battle tank is planned to have a 120mm L55 smoothbore gun. It is a version of the rain metal gun. Similar guns are used on the German Leopard 2A6 and 2A7 tanks, as well as on the South Korean Black Panther tank. Around 40 rounds of ammunition are carried for the main gun. Ready to use ammunition is stored in the turret bustle, fitted with blowout panels, while remaining rounds are stored inside the hull. The tank is fitted with coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, roof-mounted 7.62mm machine gun and roof-mounted remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. The Altai MBT is equipped with a state-of-the-art Vulcan fire control system and battlefield management system, indigenously developed by Aselsan. This company supplies fire control systems to the Turkish Army upgraded Leopard 1 MBTs. The Altai has a target acquisition system with hunter-killer engagement capability. Vehicle commander uses a panoramic sight with thermal vision to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes AL the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Such engagement method is present on all modern main battle tanks. This new main battle tank is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. Prototypes of the Altai MBTs were powered by a German MTU MT883 K501 turbocharged diesel engine developing 1,500 horsepower, mated to a rank automatic transmission. This German engine was optimized for tropical and desert conditions. However, due to political issues Germany refuses to sell this engine Turkey. It was claimed that production tanks will be powered by an indigenous engine, developing a whopping 1,800 horsepower. However, the Turkish industry failed to develop an indigenous engine for this tank. There were speculations that the Altai could be powered by a Ukrainian 6TD3 diesel engine, developing 1,500 horsepower. In 2021 a contract was signed with Doosan Infracor and SNT Dynamics of South Korea to supply DV27K engines and EST15K transmissions to Turkey for the Altai. This engine and transmission were developed for the South Korean K2 Black Panther tank. Interestingly South Korean prototypes of the K2 tank had issues with their EST-15K transmissions due to reliability issues. As a result South Korea ordered German rank transmissions for their production tanks. Series production of Altai tanks with South Korean engines could begin in 2022. Planned maximum road speed is set at 70 km per hour. This main battle tank will be fitted with a deep waiting kit. After preparation it will be capable of fording water obstacles up to 4.1 m deep. Altai AHT is a prototype version optimized for urban combat. It was first publicly revealed in 2017. It is fitted with explosive reactive armor kit. Turret of this tank has a sloped wedge-type shape. Rear parts of the hull and turret are covered with cage armor. The tank is also fitted with front-mounted dozer blade. Altai T1 is a baseline production variant, similar to pre-production prototypes. It was planned that a total of 40 Altai T1 tanks will be built for the Turkish army. These will be delivered in 2021.
Altai T2 has increased protection and improved situational awareness system. The T2 might be just another designation of the Altai AHT. It was planned that 210 of T2 tanks will be built for the Turkish army. Deliveries are expected to begin shortly after the Atli T1. Altai T3 technology demonstrator with unmanned turret and a bustle-mounted autoloader. A single prototype will be built for qualification in 2024. It will be used for trials and technical evaluation. Armored recovery vehicle is a planned future version of the Altai. Turkey is planning to obtain 60 of these recovery vehicles based on the baseline Altai T1 hull. Mine clearing variant is another planned future version. Turkey is planning to obtain 50 of these armored vehicle. However, it has not been specified whether it will be a new design based on the Altai hull or it will be just an Altai tank fitted with mine clearing attachments. Leopard 2A4 fitted with a turret of the Altai. In 2021 BMC demonstrated a modified chassis of the Leopard 2A4 tank with an integrated turret of the Altai. By 2021 Turkey has major difficulties with Altai's production due to the lack of engine and transmission system. German manufacturers were unwilling to help due to political issues. Turkey operates a fleet of over 300 X German Leopard 2A4 tanks. A number of upgrade programs were proposed in order to improve capabilities of these tanks.